Hello, everybody. Welcome to Casa de Nerd. Here we game. I am the Mad Irishman, and this is episode 5 of our Dwarf Fortress Premium Steam Edition playthrough. Um, I was doing a little off-camera stuff just to try to move things along, and uh, our supply caravan showed up. So let me deal with that. So we've got to do that, and then I forgot to do this as well. we got to rename this. Right, this is uh, Trade Gate. Got they? <laughs> and uh, this one over here is Front Gate. Important to name your gates. Okay, so pull lever. Do it. Do it now. Okay, so he's not here yet. And that's fine. Uh, militia commander. I also briefly messed around with the militia screen because I set my... You see my, my food supply here has exploded. Um, and it's because they went out hunting and they also picked a bunch of fruit and stuff. Um, so I sent out... I made uh, my manager, instead of doing fishing, being a hunter. And he uh, he did hunt some things. Rock mechanisms completed. The fox is fighting the dog again. And uh, th I did notice this happened too, that apparently I didn't set it to not uh, use the plump helmets for cooking. So we are out of plump helmets. Uh, but the trade caravan usually has some and we do have spawn we can plant and we do have 28 drinks, but we can uh, set it to brew from fruit as well. So I think we're gonna be okay. I think we're going to be okay. Uh, did Yes, yeah, someone did pull that. So this should be open. And it is. So let's see if we can find the supply caravan coming in here. And uh, give them a greeting. We, we are digging this out here. And in fact, while we're waiting, let's make some workshops. We need a furnace. We need a wood furnace. We need diplomacy. Ah, uh, we'll do that in a minute. Uh, I am your liaison from the Mountain Homes. Let's discuss your situation. Okay. There's much to share. Good stuff. Okay, make requests for next year's caravan. So as it sits right now, <laughs> we need plump helmets. Hopefully he brought some with. Um, I don't have anything specific I really need from them so I always try to do things that I think might be in short supply or might be a problem so a lot of times you know pigtail thread I always struggle with pigtail thread um, so we'll do that plants plump helmets absolutely um, gypsum plaster we have gypsum it shouldn't be hard but we're going to have them bring some anyway extracts uh, I don't really think we need anything specific out of there. Same with the meat or the, the fish. But since we don't have fish, let's just have them bring, you know, some pond turtles, some cave fish, some cave lobster. I think that'll be fine. And then, uh, you know, some dwarf... Wait a minute. Does this mean it's cheese from dwarf milk? Yikes. Ooh, kang delicious kangaroo cheese. So... <laughs> Pig cheese. Let, let's get some goat cheese, some sheep, some cow. Uh, I guess some reindeer and some yak. We get a couple of them, right? Always bring booze with. Always. Um, the uh, instrument mod looks like it's working because these are all kind of generic instruments instead of the procedurally generated ones. That makes me happy. Um anything else uh bring some picks you never know when we might run into an issue where we need a pick uh same with some uh crossbows some battle axes um crossbows are good you know the crossbows are you know what crossbows don't matter what they're made out of unless the dwarves go into melee with them a wooden crossbow and a, an anamantine crossbow are the same when you're shooting at someone if they go into melee combat, that's what matters. Which, we, I, you know, obviously we don't want that. So just the battle axes, just so we have, you know, something 
uh, in our back pocket in case our battle axe gets stolen by a, a Kia and we can't chop down trees. Uh, anvils, I like. Seeds, bring them all. Uh, these cave read, by the way, I looked it up. This is from the instruments mod so that you can have reads for wind instruments. Um, let's do uh, just like, I don't know, a couple pieces of leather and some pigtail cloth as well. And I think that'll be good. Yeah, it's going to be overpriced, but it doesn't really matter. Um, they would like us to make earrings and musical instruments. What a coincidence. We're going to need to make musical instruments for temples. So maybe we'll set up a recurring job to just make like as much of the easiest musical instrument as we can. Um, cause they'll pay 192%. It, earrings too. I mean, we could make earrings out of anything. So we'll have to keep this in mind. Um, so the trade caravan has not come in here yet. Let's finish this up. Workshops. So we did put in a furnace, uh, a wood furnace. We also need a smelter. And then finally, we are going to need metalsmith we do have the one iron anvil we brought with and that'll go there and it'll be glorious okay so that's the start of our metal industry uh we did also they they are definitely picking up these eggs because if we go in here and look at eggs now <laughs> got we got we got a lot of eggs already 105 eggs so i think what we'll do Yeah, we don't have any plants. Uh, it's a dwarven child. So there's no dwarves in here, right? We're going to forbid these doors. And instead of them coming to get the eggs, they'll just stay in here and they'll hatch. And then when we have kind of a critical mass of birds, we'll uh, slaughter them for leather and bones. Um, that's how I used to do it in classic. We'll see if it works in this. I don't see why it wouldn't, but hey, you know, I don't know everything. And in fact, I don't know much. Um, bedrooms. We have enough bedrooms. This is uh, 14 right here. So these two don't necessarily matter. And then we've got that. So. Oh, I just realized what the hell I did. This wasn't supposed to be workshops. This was supposed to be temples. You idiot. Thankfully, no one started any constructions yet. Ugh. I get so hardline focused on... Okay. So they, they were able to make it inside. That's good. I I was afraid for some reason they wouldn't be able to navigate this, but uh, it doesn't look like that was the case. Uh, actually, they weren't able to navigate it because they... Well, either they didn't bring a wagon or they brought it in by camel. So that's interesting. And it might just be because... Uh, no one cut this stuff out of the way yet. But either way, they were able to make it inside, so it's not a big deal. We'll check out a minute. Yeah, I get I get really hard focused on stuff, and uh, it's you know it's a problem. So let's turn this into a temple. Uh, we what do we have? Two, two, four, two, two, one, one, four, three. Death and rebirth. Three, five. Graphic order. Why are these yellow? I don't know. Uh, but Tobol, we've got five warshippers for that. So let's set up one for Tobol. And then uh, we're going to do another meeting area. Meeting area right here and we'll accept and we'll turn it into a, another temple and we'll do uh, no specific deity on that one and then we'll do another meeting area here and we'll turn that into a temple to uh, Stimber the god of boundaries good one to have and then finally Uh, 
kind of wish it would just... When you back out, it backs out too many menus. I wish it would just drop this and go back to the last screen and let me start drawing again. Um, but that's, that's pretty nitpicky. Uh, a new temple to... We have another one that had four people. Yeah. Lure it, the coal of cobalt. So that should get the critical mass of our dwarves and make them happy. Let's start moving some goods in. Now, the things that we want are mostly going to be the goblets. Why does it only show two? It's because they're in bins. Yes, it's because they're in bins. Okay. We'll move that guy up. Box bone bolts. Um, that's cloth and thread. I don't want to sell any of that. <clears throat> it's good to know I have that many, though. Uh, that's some cut gems. That's some leather. And a uh, nest box and a couple more mugs. Okay, so go ahead and move those up. It's not worth a ton, but it's something. Let's see what else we have. Sell those mechanisms. They're, I mean, they're not worth a lot, but they're worth something. Got some fancy wheelbarrows we could get rid of, I guess. Yeah, hey, we should maybe we should just be making step ladders. Those are worth a hundred apiece. Uh, barrels. Uh, we have plenty of barrels, bags, anvils. Okay, so we don't have a lot to sell. We uh, we got started a little later on our industry than we wanted to, but we do have some stuff, so we can pick up. Uh, the goal is just mainly going to be to get plump helmet spawns and uh, plump helmets this time around. Next time around, you know, we'll see what happens. And while we're thinking about it, earrings. That was one of the things they said they wanted. Uh, we can't make earrings. Uh, we can make rock earrings. The other thing we could do, I don't know if we have any. Wooden earrings suck. Um, I saw, didn't I see that they, you could make them out of shells? Make them out of bone, that might be cool. Shell earrings. Do we have bunch of shells we don't I think that's under body parts but I'm not sure my last port I just I I had shells coming out of my freaking ears so I thought maybe we could do something nice there um yeah so standing order make me <laughs> we've got rock is an unlimited supply so we might as well make rock earrings and uh, I, I just recently learned this just do it forever so if you drop it to zero it actually becomes infinite which is pretty cool and uh, the other one was instruments so let's look at instruments in instruments carve horn into instrument um I don't want to do that I wonder if they have to be by name uh, so we'll look at there's a couple different spots. Yeah. A crumb horn. <laughs> a hurdy gurdy. Love it. Um, I don't know what all these instruments are. I just want to figure out what the easiest ones to make are. So let's uh, let's have a look here because it'll tell us in this particular menu if something requires something else. A stone worker. That's my jeweler. That's my craft dwarf right there. So make instruments. So these all require pieces, right? Bagpipes require these things. Okay. So that's go back a menu. Right clicking should only ever go back one menu. It should go back to the menu it was before this. Okay. But instruments, instrument pieces, I 
should be able to figure out. Hmm. So maybe we do loots. Let's look at loot. So it just says to assemble a loot, you need loot frets. So if we look at instrument pieces and loot frets, I can make them out of bone. And then uh, a loot body. Didn't say I needed a loot body, but I'm assuming I would. So let's, let's just double check. High tension loot strings from adamantine oh god uh so loot frets and uh, a loot body should be pretty easy so what if we just say make loot frets and, and do it forever and then we go in to make instrument piece uh loot body and you know do forever basically uh, when this stuff is done, do that. I think that'll be okay. And we'll just, we'll keep an eye on it and see if it's it's doing what we want it to do. Uh, we also need to look at, okay, you guys are digging. You're still digging over here. Oh, job item misplaced, okay. Looks like we've got, oh, this is all stuff that they brought with them. Let's request the trader at the depot. And let's uh, let's see. So it looks like most of this stuff is in here already. Yeah, so we're okay. Now, if we just... Oh, I don't want to just chuck the bin because it'll get rid of these couple of things in here too. As you say, we just chuck the whole bin along with it. Mm, it doesn't select. Ah, it's annoying. Let's get rid of all the mugs. Though admittedly, the trade interface in Dwarf Fortress, Dwarf Fortress Classic is worse, so um, can't be too mad. Let's uh, let's keep the nest box for now. We'll keep it in our back pocket. Ah, wow, look at this guy. This is worth a thousand. This must be uh, encrusted. That's the only thing I can think as to why that's so good. Here's another one. Wow. Get rid of a bunch of these. And then as the guy or gal making the mugs gets better, we'll see more of these that are worth a higher value. So that's worth um, you know, 2800 bucks right there. That's actually pretty good. So let's see what we can get out of this trader. Uh, bitumous coal. We'll grab that. That's helpful. We don't need any wood. We don't need that. Um, you buy some instruments, I guess. This is worth 200. I don't know if we need it. Um, mm, no good animals in here. There's a blue peacock, another blue peacock, and a water buffalo. I don't really care about those. Um, probably will buy him out of booze. Steel short sword. That's worth a thousand, though. Copper mace. That's really cheap, and we don't have weapons to speak of at all. So we might as well grab it. Here's a, a, a copper pick that's only worth 80. We might as well grab it. Steel metal shirt. Here's some really cheap armor. Bismuth bronze isn't great, but it, it's better than nothing. So, if we see any cheap armor in here, we're definitely going to grab it. Ah, uh, sandbag. Pigtail, uh, it's a pigtail bag containing sand. Okay. I don't think we need any of that. Uh, we got some wool, some cloth. Looks like we still had a pretty good amount of that. Uh, some silver bolts. No, thank you. Gems. Uh, there is some anvils. They're cheap. So I'm going to pick one up because it's always nice to be able to have two shops, uh, two metalsmith shops. 
they had a steel one, it would be better because that would be able to be used at a magma forge, but we haven't even found uh, hot sauce yet. So, I don't really think we need any food. Uh, we will take uh, the fish just to, just to have the variety because we don't have any. Although we really don't have any meat either. So uh, kestrel meat. I realize that in the grand scheme of the game, brains, tripe, kidneys, intestines, sweetbreads, it's all the same stuff, but I know what that is in real life, and I'm not interested. However, if stuff's cheap, any of the stuff that's worth, you know, 10 bucks, we'll grab it, because that'll be meat. Uh, plump helmets, all of them. Uh, I don't know if we need any leaves and fruit. Some thread, you know what, grab all of that. We've still got just a ton of profit that we're sitting on here, so. These are cheap quivers. Let's grab those. Cheese. A hurdy gurdy body. Hurdy gurdy. <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny to me. Uh, there's an altar. So he didn't really bring a lot with him. Uh, so we will go through again and just grab a bunch of stuff now because we have the money um, I'm not going to buy any of the expensive ropes but we will grab a couple of ropes um, beer beer that's milk beer, milk, milk beer, beer take all of that uh, we'll buy a couple of buckets just so I don't have to make them Yeah, it's going to be too hard on the profit. As I say, half of me wants to get that steel sword. I care about training axes. I don't know what else we uh, we need to buy here. And the thing is, even if I even if I let the guy fleece me, it's still good because the more money you export to the mountain home and the happier they are, the more migrants they send you. So I am tempted to just let him have the rest of the profit. But I will get some uh, some cloth. Just the stuff that's worth 17 Just the cheap stuff. Okay. So once we hit yellow, it, it we're kind of getting in the haggling range. So... I'm actually going to give him the stuff in that bin back. And then I think we're going to be okay with the, with the rest of this in here. So let's trade. Seems pleased. Ah, wonderful. Thank you for your business. Okay. So that went pretty well, actually. I'm, uh, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty pleased with that. No trader needed a depot. Oh, my buddy Turkey Bacon. I just saw him come online. He's playing Dwarf Fortress. I don't think he's ever played it before. Okay. Uh, so now that we have... I am, I am not in the right spot. I keep going here thinking it's going to be... Um, this tab. Yeah, see, I never took that off there. That's what happened to all my plump helmets. That was uh, that was a problem. So we're good now. We got plenty of plump helmets. Um, we've got nine plump helmets spawned, but as we cook, or not cook, I'm sorry, brew those plump helmets, we'll get the seeds back for them. Um, so we'll be able to plant more. So we should be okay there. Okay, so we've got these temples set up. And now, if we look at them, it says uh, we need some chests, some instruments. Uh, all visitors welcome. So this is this is why I built it out here. These temples, all visitors welcome. So we can have people come in from the outside and entertain, preach, teach, all sorts of stuff that'll be good for your dwarves. But in the event that one of them's, I don't know, a necromancer or a were creature or a vampire or something, um, they we can secure these doors 
and and make some burrows and bring everybody back inside. And then I, I think we'll be okay. What are you upset about? Uh, I'll have to deal with that later. Uh, but I think we do also want ped pedest altars. Altars. I think we want altars in here. Altair. Alt. Alt. Altair. Um, and lo and behold, we're going to make some out of rock. Uh, we only need four. But that'll be A-O good. And uh, that'll be that. So... Did we get... We're chopping it out right now. So we're at 26 minutes. So we're going to have to finish this video up. But I do want to get this chopped out. Which, this is sand. So it should go very quickly. And I want to get my metal smithing stuff in here. Uh, Stray Yu has given birth to a lamb. Oh, goody. Right. Uh, let's build our metalsmith. And there's our second iron anvil, so we could actually build two of these, which we don't need to yet. Well, let's do our furnace. We need our smelter. Hopefully no one has an unfortunate smelting accident. I realize that may be older than some people watching this. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, go look it up. All right. So that's that's going to be the beginning of our, uh, our metalworking. We'll make some stockpiles specifically for the stuff they need to use right around it. Just like we did with some of this other stuff. Although we were we were lazy and we didn't set them up around this but we'll we'll do that uh too maybe i'll just do that off camera that's that's not terribly interesting or you know useful stuff as we've already done it in other places so thanks everybody for coming and hanging out and watching uh dum dum play dwarf fortress i do appreciate you if you haven't already and you liked what you saw feel free to like comment and subscribe any combination thereof skunk is fighting the manager that's funny um preferably all three but that is totally up to you uh it does feed the algorithm and a fed algorithm is a happy algorithm and yeah that's it see you next time bye bye